Yeah, I was awkward. <laughs> Hi. What are we doing? My yes. stomach is like, we finally ate a medical, a medical journal. Who's doing that? Welcome back to Lingoni English. My name's Emily. And I'm Brian. And in this video, we're going to give you 10 tips on improving your reading comprehension. Let's get started. So first off, make sure that you choose the right level. If you're a very beginner, you might want to use either text that was created for beginners or children's books. Sometimes children's books can be a little hard though because they are meant for native speakers. Children who are native speakers often have more vocabulary and more difficult vocabulary than you. But of course, if you have a higher level, then choose something like a novel or the news to read. Also, if you do choose something to read at too high of a level, it could discourage you from practicing reading and make it not fun anymore. And that's the last thing you want when you're practicing. Yeah, you don't want to feel like you're so bad at learning your language. So choose something at the right level. One tip I always give students is to read something in their target language that they've already read in their native language. For example, lots of people have read Harry Potter. If you've read Harry Potter in your native language, then try reading it in your target language. This does make it a little easier to digest all the information because you can kind of follow the story based on what you remember from reading it the first time. Point number three is that it really helps to read subtitles when you're watching TV or movies. So this also goes for what Emily just said. If you're watching shows that you've already seen before in your native language, but in your target language, you'll know what's happening in the story already, and you can just focus on the vocabulary and reading the subtitles with it. And what's good about reading subtitles is that you're getting audio input and also visual input. So you're kind of killing two birds with one stone or covering two different topics with one action. Another way to improve your reading comprehension is to read out loud. You can read out loud to yourself or you can read out loud to your niece or your nephew. Like Brian said earlier, children's books are a great way to learn and why not spend that time reading them to a child anyway? Practicing reading out loud can help you hear your own pronunciation mistakes, and you might not skip over so many words. Tip number five is to not just read all of the same thing either. So don't just read books in your target language, but see what blogs are out there as well. Newspapers, or there are so many different things you can read out there. So it's worth taking the time to look at those different things. That way you're used to different sorts of communication and styles of writing. Also, in order to test how much you actually comprehend from what you're reading, you can practice writing summaries about the topic you just read about. So for example, you can read a small newspaper article and after you're done reading, try to write a quick summary and see how much you retained or kept in your head. This is a great way to test how much you're actually reading. That brings us to tip number seven, breaking things up into smaller sections. So reading is typically one of the skills that students find the most daunting or difficult. One great way to overcome this is to break things down into smaller segments instead of looking at a huge long text. So maybe take it one paragraph or even one sentence at a time and go easy on yourself. Take it slow and eventually you'll be able to read the full article. This also relates to point number eight. So you can also take what you're reading and break it down into phases of reading. So something that I often do is say if I have a small article I'll go through and I'll read it once without stopping, but I'll keep a pencil in hand and I'll underline phrases that I don't understand, either grammatically or vocab-wise. 
Then phase two or part two is I look up those words or I look up those phrases. And after I've done that, part three is I read the article again. This way, I really get a better understanding of what the article says altogether, and I've worked on some vocabulary as well. Number nine, increase your vocabulary. Going off of what Brian just said, the more vocabulary you know, the faster and easier you can read. So study vocabulary, practice it, and of course, if you find new vocabulary, make sure you memorize it. Don't forget, we do have a video on how to learn more vocabulary, which you can find right here. And lastly, tip number 10 is to be patient, but consistent. Reading can take a long time to learn how to do in another language. And learning a language takes a long time. It takes years. So be patient with yourself, but keep going. Slowly and surely, you'll get there. You'll be able to read all kinds of things like the news or novels as well. If you need a little more help with any of these skills, Lingoni does offer an app where you can learn English, French, or German. We cover all these skills in the app through different things like podcasts, videos, vocab trainings, and tons of different interactive exercises. You can find out more information by looking at the description below or going to Lingoni.com. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you at Lingoni. Bye.